What's going on, guys? This is your boy Project. I spent up bringing another episode of Pokemon Reborn, and it's been a while since I recorded. Uh, I can't remember what happened in the last episode, but I know I'm in Calcinon City. But I, and I think I need to talk with the. I think I need to talk with these guys right here. Yep. See, I told you Shem is here. Huh, not bad. Hey, glad you finally caught up. Um, hi, Shen. Hey, where's Aya? Oh. Well, she'll probably be fine. You're not worried? Of course, you should be worried about anyone it's her captors. That girl will complain their heads off. Mm hmm? If you say so. Um, sorry, but... Oh, right. What were you going to ask before Anna started, he started shouting about Shen being here? Oops, sorry. You said that you were fooling, following Heather, right? What happened to her? I caught up to her briefly, and this older guy, Blake, said he was going to take care of her. She seemed okay with it, so I figured it was fine. Heather's with Blake? I only heard bad things from him. I need to talk to her. I'm... I'm going to Amateur. Wait, the path is blocked. Oh no. What's wrong? Amateur City. The path was sealed off by something like a huge iceberg. I'm worried that if it stays here, no food can be delivered to the mountaintop. If that happens... Heather might s starve? If she were going to starve, she, then she would probably just fly somewhere else. Still, I wish we could help her somehow. Hmm. So a giant iceberg in Amateur Mountain? I don't remember that. Let me think. I don't think we can break our mountain. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It can't be climbed? Probably not. I see, I see. Well, then it's easy. It is? Yep, totally easy. What do you mean? If you can't go around, through, or over it, then there's only one option left. You have to go under it. Under? How could we? Die. Correct. One point for Nomos. I was the one who said that. Don't cheat, Noel. Nomos definitely said it first. Anyway, Shed already has died, right? Don't forget the badge requirement to use it. It's probably another one of the Agate Ace Triumphant, right? Uh, actually, I think, um... I think it's Charlotte. He used to be Calcedon's own gene leader that handled died. If you tell her what's going on and ask her for a battle, I'm sure she'll accept. Go on, get to it already. Well met, Shen. Meteor's attack seems to have ceased, but I will remain vigilant. So a team meteor agent turned off the machine herself? That does explain why the barrier has remained. One was configured to calcinate power system, and one to Labrador's. Once Team Media reactivates the Pulse Clarence or switches it to a Labrador power grid, the attack will resume. Until it is destroyed, I will wait. No matter how long it lasts, I won't take any risk with my sisters in the city. They have Aya. We'll definitely make them pay. Hey! Come out here, Medias! Ah, uh, Aya! Stop. Someone's coming. Haha, <laughs> so that's why you picked your type party. Because you're as dumb as a rock? Oh my goodness, firm. Sup, nerds? You know you're not gonna, gonna get through this barrier. Why are you over there? So, I side with the winners. Team Media is going to win great this world, and when they do, I'll be in my rightful place at the top. Looks like your little girlfriend's just another pawn in their game. Give her back, now! That's it. But I'll give her a kiss for you if you want. Don't you dare. Just kidding. I wouldn't touch her if she paid me to. Damn! Mate, I swear to God, when I get through this wall, I'm getting punched in the face and get trolled. Anyway, I'll work to do. Later, losers. He seems like a pleasant person. Shh, that's not the half of it. But I'm not gonna give up. I'll save I am myself. I think she's in this gym, right? You're being way too hard on yourself. How couldn't I be? It has to be my fault somehow. Amic probably just made a mistake. She does that a lot. Look, we'll get it figured out, but crying about it won't help. Sup, Shen? Shen, sorry. Please excuse me. Awesome. She doesn't like to cry in front of others. I love her, but that girl drives me nuts sometimes. Like, I get that that is bad news, but she's totally overreacting. She got a notification from Ami today. She was fired from her position at 34. Wow. Apparently she's been replaced already, but that isn't generally how this whole reborn week thing goes down. Something's weird here, and I'm going to figure out what. I'll be back in a bit.
Let go of me already. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Good. You're here as well. Our terms are simple. We know you have the ruby ring, Shen. Give it to us or this girl's life is forfeit. We aren't interested in negotiating. Like hell we aren't. This is I's life. Shen, just give them the ring. Whatever you do, do not give them the ring. It's a stupid piece of jewelry. It's not worth killing her. Apparently, some people disagree. No surprise there. Team Meter is not a pack of thieves. The ruby ring is not just a ring, it's a key. Does that matter? They're gonna kill her if we don't give them to them. They're going to kill her if we do give it to them. That doesn't even make sense. I bet you wouldn't be saying the same thing if it was one of your sisters over there. Wrong. That doesn't change anything. Ugh, you don't make any sense. First you... First you say you will do anything for your family, and then you say you'd willingly let her die for a stupid ring? Oh, so that's what this is about. She ends ruby ring? That's right. Team Meteor is holding that girl hostage. So, sis. You really let me die over something so innocent? Oh, boy. Shen, what about you? Would you be so callous as to throw me to the dogs for the sake of some stupid ring? Last time I said no. But I wonder what would happen if I said yes. I mean, I could always soft reset a bit if uh, it turns out bad. Oh, how could you? If that's how it's going to be, then I just need to steal the ring to save myself. Uh, wasn't it just a hypothetical question? She took it. <laughs> Team Meteor, I'll give you the ring. I have to run so these people don't take it back. I'll give it to you at the power station. Meet me there. Charlotte, no! Hardy, stop. Hmm. I'll send someone down. Ow, ow, ow! Stop dragging me around! Aya! Yo, look, I don't expect anyone else to care about her like I do, but you could at least try giving a damn. Do you have any siblings? Do I... What? Yeah, I have a sister. She reminds me of you. You're both impossible to deal with. So you're not close. When you've been through as much as my sisters and I have, you learn to have absolute faith in each other. All we have is each other. If we doubted that, there would be nothing left. That's some kind of absolute faith you got, for sure. She just got upset and ran off with our only way to save Aya. No, she just saved Aya herself, at least for the time being. What are you talking about? Because of her, Team Meteor no longer believes we have anything of value to them. Therefore, they have no reason to threaten Aya's life. Shen, if you want to confirm this file, you know where she is heading, right? <laughs> Ashley Faith always ends up broken in the end. We have to take matters into our own hands. Alright. So, that was a pretty fun show, huh? Don't worry about the whole throw me to the dogs thing. You gave the right answer. In any situation where someone is making an ultimatum, you never acquiesce to it. Case in point, Team Meteor could kill every person in Labrador or City, but that doesn't give them anything they need. So as long as we don't bargain with them, they won't reach their goals. But if you give it like your little friend Hardy one or two, that would have just validated all their power and encouraged their bad behavior. That's all it is. Rewards and punishment, really. We just have to train them. Turns out humans aren't that different from dogs after all. I don't care if that sounds manipulative or callous. I don't have the liberty of feeling guilt like most people. That right burned away years ago. Anyway, here. Team Meteor doesn't know you have that now, and they're going to waste time going down to the power station, so that's a double win. Anna told me about the issue with Amatron, so you need to use Dive, right? Don't ask me whose bright idea it was to make a, the fire leader enable a water machine. This will be my first proper battle in proper battle on Mount's gym, so I'll gladly, gladly accept your challenge. You better do it now while Team Meteor is still distracted. I'll meet you over there. Hmm. I never found Noir. Oh well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Huh. So not much change. She just validated that my the decision I made was the correct one. Alright, so I'm going to have to make a couple of changes to my team. Um, you would be good, but at the same time, I'm not sure if you would... 
What I'm worried about is this per this one. Fire attacks is gonna be boosted on her, on her, uh, in her uh, field, and he's part steel. Then again, he has a good special defense stat. Maybe if we get him to level up a little bit more, we'll be able to. He'll be able to uh, deal with the fire types, or at least with a uh, Charlotte. Oh, so you're here too. You seem to be doing well. The bear is your life right now, Sigmund. When that goes out, I swear on my own life, I will seek you out and strike you down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware. So I see, so I see you still derive personal comfort from threats to authority. You aren't the authority anymore. This is in your jailhouse. And yet, by the law's discretion, as you well know, I'm still the legal guardian of your youngest sister. No, I'm the guardian. You're the threat. Get out of my sight. You are not in a position to give me orders, Sophia. Right. You get those from Team Meteor now? Just how low can a man sit? I'm sure nothing. I care nothing for their goals. But there is something I must confirm. Enough. Your excuse is sick of me. I'm done with this conversation. I am your worst fucking nightmare, Sigmund. Watch where you sleep. Shen? So you're about to fight Charlotte at the old gym, huh? Alright, listen up. This is her first time using that arena, but she's about to make damn good use of it. She'll probably use doubles as she did in her qualifying battles. If she takes after her mother, that's going to be a lot of eruption and heat wave attacks. Those sorts of those sorts of area hidden fire attacks will set the arena on fire, which will send her power through the roof. There are lots of ways to put out a, a flame, but consider stopping it from light in it at all by setting up rain. Or, if that's not your style, then take out the, then take up the cliche and fight fire with fire. Her superheated and burning fields could be just as strong against her. Give her given her a pass. Is that mean? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. In any case, good luck. I mean, I could teach you to rain dance. I think I have it. Yes, I did. Oh, and a lot of a lot of people are learning. Mm. Let's give it a drill pack for now. Too many options. Let's have two rain dancers. That would probably be a better idea, actually. I think I know who to give that rain dance to, too. Boom. A fast rain dancer. I don't need teleport. Oh right, this puzzle. Uh, I think I messed up. 
Ah Yep, there we go. Make peace while you still can. can be the truest test of strength. Oh right, I know what I was trying to check. Yeah, my cap is level 70. Field is ablaze. End of turn, fire damage. Ah! This is a burning field, not the heated field, though. End of turn, fire damage when grounded against are when grounded and not fire types. Immunity field. One of these abilities are active flame body, flare boost, flash fire, heat proof, magma armor, water bubble, water veil. Field damage when increases when fluffy, grass pelt, ice body, weak guard. Oh. Created by Grass and Fire Pledge. Created by Grass and Fire Pledge. Oh, so you could create heated fields. Okay, makes sense. Attacks are 1.5 when attacker is grounded. Grass is negative 0.5. Ice is 0.5. But that's the blaze field. No, the burning field. What about the heated field? Do I have that? I surprisingly don't? Okay. Think fast. It's the only way you'll survive. Oh!
I'll see you in the Starlight Divide. Starlight Divide. Try to stay alive. At least you at least you'll be your useful diversion. Got it. You think you could just fly right past me? I'll cut the wings right off of you. Hey! Frank Potter. gonna hurt. Didn't hurt as much as I'd expected. It's an Arcanine and superheated. Don't think you've seen the last of me.
Alright, let's save the game here. And let's give it a shot, shall we? Not too shabby, huh? Turns out Mom had pretty good taste. She was a fire trainer, too, you know. I didn't mean to take after her, it just kinda connected. When the flames started spreading, at first I was confused and scared. When I realized what was happening, and then and that there was nothing I could do, I just accepted it. Then I saw how really pretty they were. They were little spirits of immolation dancing back and forth in the night air. It was art, really. Because, see, when you realize you've done something that terrible, you have a choice. You can either accept the guilt and live with the burden for the rest of your life, or you can just not. I wasn't interested in regret. Most kids would have been traumatized by finding out they killed their, their own parents, right? They'd hide away and cry at the sight of fire after that. That didn't sound fun, so I embraced it instead. Fire is destruction. Destruction is beauty. But there's nothing you can do to stop the creeping flame. All that's left is to sit back and watch the show. And I'll put on a marvelous show for you. So, so give in to it already. So you're scarfed. You have to be. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. What? You're both scarfed? So, Eruption and Rock Slide. Uh, okay. Alright, I got an idea. So I'm guessing an elemental seed will probably benefit you. I wish I could change all these to uh, alphabetical order. seed hmm okay change of plan Thank 
point. Let's give you a bright powder. Alright, let's try this again. That's a better start, but not much better. Okay. So the Focus Sash isn't really doing anything for, for him. If that's the case, then there's no use in giving him a Focus Sash. Um, I'll end the episode right here. I'll come up with a better plan in the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next.